Hello, I'm Ed Thompson, CTO of Matillion. Today, I'm going to take you through the new features of our 138 release of Matillion ETL. So let's get started. New to version 138 is the SharePoint query component, available to all platforms. By authenticating this component with your SharePoint credentials, you can load in data from a SharePoint source, place that data into a target table, and extract the data you want to query. With version 138, your instance administrator will be prompted to provide usage data. Until you will only collect completely anonymous product usage metrics. This will help us understand which components and functions are being used so we can build you a better Matillion. For more information, you can find a link to Matillion support documentation in the video's description. Two Matillion features that have received user interface quality of life improvements are environments and projects. Editing or creating an environment or project is now done through our simple step-by-step -step setup wizard. Once you've filled out the wizard's fields, you can click the test button to ensure that all parameters are working as expected. Note that the functionality of both environments and projects remains the same as before. Another quality of life improvement is the text editing for variables. This feature is available for both manage environment variables, but also the manage job variables. In this instance, we have a number of variables and as usual, they can be edited, added and removed through the user interface. You also have the option to flip the editor into text mode. Text mode will show a plain text version of these inputs, where the plain text can be edited, and the change is reflected in the relevant columns when we switch text mode off. You can also copy the plain text and paste into another job variable's text mode window. New to Matillion ETL for Amazon Redshift is the DynamoDB query component. This component is similar to the DynamoDB load component. However, it is generally advised that the new component is used for selective queries, pushing subsets of data into Amazon Redshift. Whereas the DynamoDB load component is used for pushing full data sets. Our CDC feature has been updated with an improved view panel, giving better access to the queue status and Lambda status. In addition, the new six-step wizard makes setting up tasks much simpler. A new feature of Matillion ETL for Snowflake instances hosted on AWS is Change Data Capture, or CDC. CDC lets users keep their source databases in sync with their target database, with a specific focus on efficiently processing any change data in your source database. Users of Matillion ETL for Snowflake on Azure hosted instances now have access to the Azure Queue storage message component. Using your instance credentials, you can select one of your Azure storage accounts and a pre-existing queue within that account, which has been previously set up. Then you can write your message. Choose from a variety of message types, including GZIP, Base64, and plain text, and then run this component to send your message to the queue you have selected. Here we are in Microsoft Azure portal, and by clicking into the relevant queue, you can see the message we sent via our new component. A new multi-table input component is available for Snowflake users when running a transformation job. This component lets you query your target database for any table whose name matches a certain pattern. The component loads data from all of the matching tables at once, provided that their column structure is similar to one another. In this example, we've pulled in over 530 million rows of data from our numerous tables at once. We did this via the name flights in our pattern parameter. The pattern parameter also allows users to write regular expressions or regex, which will pattern match for a particular table name. New to Matillion ETL for BigQuery is the Zora bulk query component. This component is similar to the existing Zora query component. However, the new bulk query component uses the Zora Aqua API rather than the REST API, giving you more flexibility in how you configure your Zora loads. So that's what's new in version 138 of Matillion ETL. If you'd like more information, you can visit matillion.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want further updates. Thank you very much.